Hello and welcome to your world, a dramatic and ever-changing world, a delicate world of fragile ecosystems under pressure, a world of harsh extremes, an environment of animals endangered. We'll be giving it our best shot in the long run for ourselves and the animal kingdom in general, but today our more imminent concerns take us to a long list of officially endangered species, about 40% of all known organisms on Earth. The red list of critically endangered species includes almost 3,500, each of which are expected to decrease in population 80% over three generations. And then, extinct. Each day this week, we'll be highlighting, honouring and investigating the whys and wherefores of endangered species, starting today with lemurs. These wonderful prosimian primates are surrounded by the Indian Ocean on the island of Madagascar, home to about 5% of every kind of species on Earth. Having been isolated from the mainland for nearly 65 million years, these strepsorines are our cousins, yet maintain many of the traits we lost with monkeys and apes, like a wet nose, a keen sense of smell, and a small brain to body size ratio. Relatively speaking, there are over 100 known variations of lemurs alive today. From the cute and cuddly to the large and intimidating, and many species are quite healthy. You may already be familiar with the ring-tailed lemur, commonly found in zoos throughout the world. Known for their distinct black and white tail markings, they are the most recognisable, and amongst the least threatened of the lemurs. Arboreal, they are capable of leaping through trees. They spend a fair amount of time on the ground, walking on all four legs. But not all lemurs use this form of terrestrial locomotion. Some prefer the lindy hop. Lemurs like the Sifika hop bipedally, some hop sideways like the Varroas, while others bound forward like the Corcorals. These indrids are the largest among today's lemurs and unfortunately classified as endangered due to habitat loss and overhunting. The first known human contact with lemurs in general occurred around 2000 years ago and quickly led to the extinction of the island's once largest lemur species the koala lemur. Weighing in at up to 85 kilograms, these lemurs were as big and badass as gorillas. But alas, they were unable to compete with the ingenuity of even the laziest humans. While habitat loss is perhaps the most common factor leading to the extinction of Earth's largest organisms, size is ultimately no issue. The endangered mouse lemur is considered the smallest known primate in the entire world, often weighing in at under 30 grams. They're nocturnal omnivores, eating a diet of mostly insects, fruits and flowers, and their numbers have dwindled in recent years due to slash and burn agriculture and cattle grazing. For many of the mouse lemurs, especially the grey mouse lemur, natural predation is also fierce. One study conducted in the Beza Mahofale Reserve in Karindi Matia National Park confirmed the Madagascar long-eared owl is its most significant predator of the mouse lemur, responsible for 25% of the population lost per year, the highest known for any primate species. Due to its non-gregarious nature, just like other nocturnal lemurs, the mouse lemur defends itself from predators by using avoidance strategies. The pet trade is also contributing to the loss of many lemurs, because they are so cute but not true for the I.I. The I.I., which previously made its debut on Rocket Boom in our Ugliest Animals on Earth episode, was thought to be extinct until it was rediscovered in 1961 in what must have been a true horror. Like other lemurs, the I.I. is threatened due to habitat loss, but it's also considered a symbol of death by native superstition and should be killed on sight. Like a cockroach. This irrational hostility is clearly a reaction to the I.I.'s bizarre appearance. With a pale face, large bat-like ears, yellow eyes, and an elongated third digit used to spear grubworms, the I.I. might just become extinct for simply being too ugly. While lemurs do have natural predators to look out for, like the previously mentioned Madagascar long-eared owl, or the popular Madagascan harrier hawk, or even the fossa, a close relative of the mongoose, their loss from natural predators is practically negligible compared to the devastation brought on by humans. Global deforestation actually declined over the past decade, from 60 million hectares lost per year down to 13 million, with the greatest decline happening in just the last five years. But in Madagascar, deforestation has actually increased in the past five years by a massive 30 36%. Thankfully, there are organizations like the Lima Conservation Foundation that serve to help preserve lemurs through captive breeding programs, research, and education. 
The LCF has also set up a 100-acre lima reserve in Mayaca City, Florida, which is mostly off-limits to human visitors. A common practice is to ship lemurs around the world for breeding in captivity, to then ship back to Madagascar in larger numbers. Project Batampana is the lima program recognized as one of the world's few successful reintroductions. The group is currently working heavily on saving the black and white ruffed lemurs. If you would like to help, consider the critically endangered Greater Bamboo Lemur. The Greater Bamboo is the most endangered lemur in Madagascar, and is even on the list of the 25 most endangered primates worldwide. There are only between 250 to 350 individuals left in the wild, and 20 living outside the wild. Check out the Madagascar Fauna Group, an international consortium organizing efforts to save the lemur at savethelemur.org. If we don't act now, it may be too late.